to move the circle here from the right to the left, then what I'll create is two points, a start and an end point. If I move this circle here from the right to the left and then up, then what I'll have is three points. Now these three points will be a start, a middle and an end. And these three points are the same as keyframes. Each of these points as keyframes would hold the value of the position of that circle. So the start point here would hold the X and the Y position of the circle, and then same with the middle and same with the end. The computer will then animate the movement between those keyframes at a speed depending on how far apart those keyframes are. Keyframing isn't just for changing the position of something though. You can change things like scale, so the size of something, and also things like the colour. Any change in value over time in your editing software is a keyframe. In DaVinci Resolve, to create a keyframe, you want to select the diamond icon next to the value that you want to animate. 